don't make me. Please don't make me go to the treetops. I don't want to go. <laughs> Hello, Brett Fiesta here. Welcome back to Let's Play Spire the Dragon. In the last episode, uh, we had a few fails at Misty Bog, but overall, you know, it was, it was all right. And in this episode, reluctantly, we will go to the treetops. I don't. I love this level just because it's the most memorable. Oh, no, backflip. Welcome back to the, you know, the thieves are back. Um, in this world, we have 500 treasure again and three dragons. Uh, in between videos, um, I moved my phone to the other room so that that would not keep interrupting my recording session. And then I also ate a banana um, because I got hungry, of course. And um, it's kind of relevant to the food thing that we were talking about before. And I have a question for... How do we get out of the wind menu? I have a question. Um, so there's these guys who, like, throw bananas at you. These stupid... And then these stupid, like, monkey things with, like, the arrow through the head. Um, they've learned how to use tools. As I said, Ganassi Gnarks henchmen are getting more technologically advanced. Um, so my question is, like... You know how if you eat undercooked food, you can get sick, right? Is it the same for like, if I eat like under ripened fruit? Like if you eat a banana that's still like kind of green, like, can you get sick from that? I don't know. These these stupid monkeys and their stupid bananas. And there's another thief. There's a red thief. And we've, uh, we've actually caused the blue robed people to be extinct. And so now we had the, uh, the yellow robed person from before and the red robed person down here i really like this red robed person he's pretty cool or she i don't know uh and before we go that way i'm gonna go this way where this stupid guy and his stupid bananas are um really good job at hitting those really good oh my goodness see it was a good idea to go you know jump out the window because we get a key which we are inevitably going, oh, geez, okay, he kicked me. That's good. Really, really great start. Now, I haven't seen any way to heal Sparks yet. You and your stupid bananas. You almost knocked me off with your stupid bananas. I, I like bananas, too. I think bananas are delicious. Okay. Um. So this level is inevitably going to be long because um i don't remember how to catch the thieves um treetops is if you you know you just take a look here there's like an island on top of that tree and there's like an island in that tree and there's like an island over here and an island over there it's going to be a lot of jumping between islands uh we're going to use the supercharge mechanic a whole ton in this uh in this level so it's going to be a matter of figuring out, you know, the path that you need to take to catch the thieves. Hi, Lyle. Greetings, Sparrow. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. <sighs> and that's an important mechanic. Thank you, Lyle. Um, you can chain, uh, well, we figured this out before in the uh, Wizard Peak. You can chain supercharges together to make, uh, like, the hypercharge. Um, I'm really hesitant to, uh, to just start charging around because I really want to explore all the islands first. But, yeah, this is, the, this is the theme, is get charged the crap around and die of bananas. So that answers my previous question of, can you die from eating a banana? Stop it. Stop it with your stupid bananas. Okay. Um, I heard an extra life around here somewhere. Oh, and there's a chicken. That's good to know. We'll need him later, probably, at the rate that I'm playing. Um, there's another dragon over there. So another supercharge. Um, that's another thing. Oh, there's the other. There's a third dragon back there. 
We're not going to get him for a very long time. Let's see what's over here. Um, I'm guessing we'll use that to like chain and supercharge at some point. I guess the only way we can go is this way, so let's let's do it. Jump and charge into that. That's important. Uh, a long time ago, like back the one of the very first times I played this, um, I used to have like one of the players' guides, like the Prima something or other, and this will be more for the the whole charging. Because to get up there, you'll either need to jump from that or like jump off of this. I don't remember. And of course, you know exactly you know where I'm pointing with my hand. Uh, I used to have the guide that would tell you the exact path that you need to take to catch the thieves, and it wouldn't like show you a map with you know arrows and whatever. Because you know that would be helpful in the slightest. This is a 3D game. Not, you know, top-down 2D nonsense. Um, or I guess you can just use the whirlwind. Where's the whirlwind taking? It takes me over here. Great. But no, it would, um... It would show you a, uh... What's down here? More people. More of these monkey people and their stupid bananas. Um... It showed you just, like, a series of screenshots. And you were just supposed to keep track of, you know, how you get from screenshot A to screenshot B. And it's it was so frustrating because, one, I lost that book. Is this the safe chest? Please be the safe chest. No, it's a... How am I supposed to hit that? I'm guessing uh, from there. Now where do I go? I'm guessing this way. Um... But yeah, I lost that book. Or did I lose the uh, the Spyro 2 book? I remember the Spyro 2 book was a lot better. So that was probably the one I lost. Now that I think about it. Uh, we'll have to use that to make a jump, I'm guessing. This is really great. I really remember this level. Alright, where does this take us? This takes us to the start. Okay, so we went full circle. Let's explore. Let's get that red thief to get, start doing the thing. But the thing about this is, like, you're not chasing the thieves in this one. You're just trying to get, like, to their end destination. Oh, there's the safe chest. Great, now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Unless... No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't put two keys in the level. That would just be bad for my colon. I have a healthy colon, I think. Um. Hi, Isaac. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. He's not really good at describing things. He's just like, if you if you jump at this really cool place, you can you can go far. It's a really descriptive. Although I guess it suit it suits me. Oh, that would be the um the uh that. What's this? Okay, now we are back here. This is probably the video where I'm gonna start doing footage cuts. I mean, it's good to, you know, have that practice um, with, you know, video editing, and whatever, but uh, I'm not looking forward to it, partially because I really wish that this level was not so convoluted. That's just a, that's a personal desire of mine. Okay. I believe the green or yellow thief or whatever is supposed to be easier. Um, so he ran off like this way. I think. I don't even remember. It was only ten minutes ago. Not even. And I don't remember. But let's see here. Over here we had this is where the stupid monkeys killed me with their stupid bananas. Or no, they killed me down there. 
Let's let's press the dragon pad. And then what was down? Oh, here we go. Wait. No, no, we've been over to that island before. What I'm looking at is right down there. This accomplishes. This will be how we get to the yellow thief. Okay. Maybe the yellow thief is the harder one. Uh, so how do we get here? Um, I remember some stupid thing about at some point during one of these sequences, you have to run up a supercharge. Uh, so let's, let's just try randomly chaining some stuff together. Okay, here. Jump. Oh, there's the red thief. Oh, we figured that one out pretty quick. We didn't make it because we are suck. Um, what I was going to do going into this video is I was going to prepare a list of things to talk about. But then I just sort of um, went at it. Um, okay, here's the thing. Uh, the Amazing Race starts today. The Amazing Race being um, the one uh, reality TV show that I will watch. Um, it's really cool. I'd really like to actually go on The Amazing Race someday. Because um, it would be, you know, just such an amazing experience to travel the world and see, you know, a whole bunch of cool places. Um, like, as I've mentioned before, maybe not in this video, but maybe in uh, real life. Um, I have never been to a mountain before. Okay, take two. Uh, I, no, we're not going to make that. Right? No. Lissai. Um, I have never been to a mountain before, so I, I guess I've been missing out on, you know, some experiences that people might think are you know, let's let's skip that. Uh, you know, some experiences that people might think are pretty cool. And I might even think that. But there's no way for me to know. Because I've never experienced them. Sad days. Uh, but yeah, The Amazing Race. I haven't looked up anything for it. So I don't know if any of the teams are, you know. I imagine some of them will be good. But, uh, all right, take three. Okay, got this, got this. Can we make this? Can we make this? Are we even supposed to glide? I'm starting to think no. I'm also starting to think that this is not the way that we get up there. So let's reevaluate. How do we get to here? How else can we get to this spot? through there. Okay. Great. Um, now, how do we get here? I keep hitting the uh, the jump button to do my drop. Um, even though that's not how you do the drop. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this seems like a much better way to approach uh, the yellow thief. Or the red thief. Or, yeah. The red thief. Now... Um... Let's see here. Oh, okay. Here we go. That, um... I kind of wish I had that screenshot guide, in all honesty. I should also be taking a look out just in case I missed any gems that aren't with the on the Thieves' Islands. Let's not uh, run down this just yet. Let's just walk to the end, see where this can uh, take us. We need to go over there. Okay. Okay. All right. 
think we can do this. So this will be take four, I guess, technically. Even though it's, uh, we're trying something new. Okay, so now we gotta run up here. Uh, we had hypercharge for just a brief moment. And jump. Okay, great, great, super. Yep, that was, that was correct. Now, where'd the red peep go? Did we, did we hit him or her? Oh, the red thief is exhausted. Oh, purple jump. Nice. Also, really glad that I didn't fall off. Because I really felt like I was close to doing that. Okay, now... Now we have to think about how to... Um, how to reach the yellow thief. So, let's get... Let's get back to... I know what the final jump is going to be. Um, it's going to be on that little uh, bridge. The green and brown one. That we found before. Um, hold on a second. We'll be right back after these messages. And now, back to your Let's Play in progress. Alright, that was... Sorry about that little weird skip. Um, I accidentally stopped my recording, which is really good. We're going this way. We're trying to figure out how to get the yellow thief. Um, and stopping the recording is really going to help uh, knowing how long this video is going to be. That's great. Um, why does the music sound so slow? It sounded really fast earlier. Why does it sound so slow now? Um, oh. Well, let's let's fly through the through the tree chops. Look before you leap, kids. Okay. Well, on the plus side, um, we we don't have to go for the thief anymore because we got we got their precious gems so you know mission accomplished uh can we get back Ugh, i gotta go all the way through here um let's talk about something else let's play um I've been thinking about different projects I want to do. I know for sure that after Spyro's done, uh, I'll take a little, um, some time to uh, plan for my next projects, which are going to be Yiga Union and Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is going to be really short because, you know, that's just a little Genesis arcade sort of game. Um, after that, I want to do... Uh, um, just continue. Uh, I want to do... A Zelda game not like not a real long well I guess sort of long uh, not like Ocarina of Time Ocarina of Time I want to do at some point but not right now I want to do there's the yellow thief um, I want to do the Oracle games uh, how, how are we supposed to get here probably running up that thing so let's um, Let's go back this way. Uh, I want to start with Oracle of Seasons, since that's the one I played less. 
Um, I always played Oracle of Ages because blue. And that's literally the only reason. It's because I like the color blue more than I like the color red. Um, okay, so maybe maybe we do something like... Uh, maybe we do something like this. I have an idea. We're going to jump down here. We're going to jump over to this thing. Get the mini hypercharge. And we are going to shoot this. We cannot make that. Okay. Um, how many lives do I have? 15. All right, we got we got some room to just play around. Let's let's just jump off the handle. And we tripped. That was definitely, if anything was off the handle, it was that. Um, Oracle of Seasons. I really like the handheld uh, Zelda games a lot better than the um, the 3D ones. Okay, can we uh, can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we? I bet if I thought about it, I could make that jump. If it was premeditated. Which now it is. So we're going to get to the end here. And we are going to... We got... I have to remember to jump at the end of that. But this is this is right. This means something. Sharp. All right. Great. Jump. Okay. And then here. And then right here. And jump. And fly. Oh. Oh. Oh, boom. Look at that. I am a pro. We got the green, yellow, thief, or whatever. Um, we got, hopefully, all the gems. Um, let's wait for the toll before we get the dragon. Boom. Look at that. Hi, Jed. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You've learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah. Well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. <laughs> Thank you, Spyro. That was exactly what I was thinking, honestly. Also, I hate his name. So that was groovy. Um, we we beat the treetops, and it was a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be. So that's good. Let's save the game. How about? Great. Um, on the way down, let's talk a little bit more about future Let's Plays. Um, I like I like plans. Uh, my friends probably know this about me, but um, strangely enough, I like being spontaneous. Yet I also like plan. Oh, hey, look at that! That was pretty cool. Um, I guess I like plans for the sake of them, but I don't like following them. So you, you can look forward to that. As soon as I'm done with, um, Spyro, um, we'll be starting Yigur Union, and this is not the way I need to go. This is not my broom. This is not my banana. Uh, we need to go to the super secret bonus. That was a really like, thank you, pig. Um, I want to try to keep it like, uh, I'm, I'm just getting confused. I need to take a short like break and then gather my thoughts and we can talk about this more at the, uh, at the super secret bonus at the wild flight. So we'll do that in the next episode. I have been Brad Fiesta and I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to.